Um, is this going? It's going. Good. Um, I'm actually recording Tuesday night instead of Wednesday morning. So it is Tuesday, February the 23rd, uh, 2016. Um, I look like heck. I look like heck because I am fighting a wicked allergies or cold or something. I don't know what's going on. Um, so we're going to talk about pressure points for sinuses. That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> So, I know I talked in a different episode some time ago about making a congestion cream, and um, I'm using my own congestion um, ointment tonight, and this is one that has a coconut oil base, and has eucalyptus essential oil, peppermint essential oil, camphor essential oil, lavender essential oil, and rosemary essential oil. So here's what we're going to do. There are a series of pressure points on your face. This is where all of my sinuses are. They hurt really, really bad. They really hurt bad. So there's a bunch of different pressure points on your face that you can use. And you can use a blend like this. You could use something like Vicks. I personally don't like petroleum jelly. Um, so I don't like to use Vicks. Um, my chiropractor hit several of these points and then a few others. And she uses an oil blend known as white flour that comes out of China. Um, you know, you can you use whatever you need to use. If you're going to use essential oils, make sure you put them in a carrier, though, like this is. So I am going to try and be very helpful when showing you this. I have an eyeliner. So this is how we're going to start. This right here. is not working. It would help if a girl would actually roll the color up. There we go. So it's really hard to do when you're using your camera. Okay, there's a point. Okay, I'm going to put the points on first and then I'm going to show you what to do. Okay. Here's a point. Make that a little more obvious so I can see what I'm doing. I'm using my camera as my mirror, and it's a little weird, but I figured it'd be easier to show you um, like this than to just try and describe it. Okay, I'm using an online guide to remind me of where to go as well. Okay, now this one's kind of tricky. So when you're going to do this one, you're going to go underneath your eye. You're going to go directly beneath your pupil, and you're going to come down your cheekbone and find the base of your cheekbone and kind of push up with your finger, and you'll hit a spot right below your pupil that's really kind of sensitive. That's the spot you want. Yeah, that's the spot right there. And we're going to do that here, too. Right there, that's the spot. Okay. And then the last one, you're going to start here and you're going to go across. So I'll show you. Okay. So we have all these little pressure points here, right? You know, take your cream or your whatever it is that you're using, okay? Now, you don't want to get too heavy of an amount because you're going to be close enough to your eyes that you may make your eyes water if you use too much, okay? So point number one, we're going to go right here. This is right between, this is kind of your third eye area. So you want to kind of get it in there. I'm not rubbing my finger, I'm just putting pressure. And you just want to hold it for a minute. Because what you do is you're kind of... Um, you're helping to relieve some of the pressure that's going on with your sinuses if your sinuses are full. Um, you're also centering and balancing yourself by accessing your third eye. Okay. You're allowing the oils a moment to soak in as well. So we're going to start there. So that's one. Not two. 
We're going to go right at these guys. You're going to want to push kind of up and away. Do you see that? Kind of up and away a little bit. And you'll hit a sensitive spot. Okay. I'm going to slide right on over to this one. You can see the slide in the makeup. Okay. Now, most of the sites that I've been looking at to find these points to actually access what these points are, most of them recommend that you hold each of these points for a couple of minutes. You know, anywhere from two minutes to five minutes, depending. Okay, I'm going to go back and hit this one. Now you want to catch underneath and kind of push up. Okay, there we go. This is not what you expected to watch tonight, is it? But man, I tell you, my sinuses have been killing me all day. I don't know that I'm sick because I don't have body aches, I don't have headaches, I don't have a fever. I'm just congested as I'll get out. Okay, we're going to come underneath. Kind of come up a little bit towards your nose. I do a lot with my middle fingers. I don't. It's just the way I work. I'm sorry. Hope that doesn't offend. Okay. Now for this last set, I'm going to take two spots at the same time. I'll blot all that off a little bit later. Um, I'm going to do these with my thumb. Okay. Oh, I can feel it working. My nose is already starting to drain. So I'm going to come at these points right here. And I just want to draw along the brow. And you're going to go right under the eyebrow, okay? Right along that occipital brow. That, that ridge. No, not occipital. Orbital. Don't quote a damn thing I'm saying tonight. Okay. I know sometimes it feels like um, it feels like my chiropractor goes over my brows too. So you might try that as well. But this will help open up the sinuses a little bit. What you don't want to do is you don't want to come clear up into here unless you know where you're going. Because with like camphors and peppermints and menthols, you're going to get too close to your eyes. Your eyes are going to start to water. And um, it's not going to feel real great. There. Maybe like be a little less uh, obnoxious looking there. Okay, how's that look? <laughs> so... That I just kind of wanted to show you guys that tonight that you can that you can help relieve some of the sinus pressure you might be dealing with simply because it's we're coming into allergy season now, um, which is what I think is going on is I'm just fighting some allergies and my medication just isn't um, isn't strong enough anymore. I've been on it for maybe 15 years or so. Um, so try this to help relieve some of your allergy pressure, your sinus pressure. Uh, quick update on my own. Um, uh, uh, my charity hours, I'm up to 12 hours. Go me. Um, up to 12 hours, and I seem to be gooing everywhere here. <laughs> uh, and the charity that I want to talk about this week is one that's really close to my heart. I've worked with this charity off and on for many years. Uh, it's Project Linus. And Project Linus is a really great organization that has chapters all over the United States. You just have to kind of type them in and look for a chapter. Project Linus is all about providing blankets for children that are in traumatic situations of many different kinds or for children who just need blankets. These are new blankets that are all handmade. They are not bought in blankets. They are not um, recycled or repurposed blankets, generally. Um, by repurposed, I mean they're not like, oh, I have a blanket sitting around that's okay. Uh, these are blankets that are usually made specifically for the Project Linus um, organization. And they get placed in, in, in uh, hospitals, they get placed in police vehicles, they get placed all over wherever people who will come into regular contact with traumatized children, um, wherever they work. Uh, a few of the blankets that I have made, I've actually gotten responses from people who've received them um, from the UW Children's Hospital. And I actually had a really lovely email conversation with a gentleman whose two girls had received Project, Bl uh, Project Linus blankets that... Um, I and my organization at the time had made and donated uh, to Project Linus. Uh, one of his daughters was having surgery. Both girls got a blanket. It was very sweet. 
Um, so I'd like to encourage you to, if you are a crafter of any sort, to create a few blankets once in a while for Project Linus. And you can find Project Linus and different chapters at Project, P-R-O-J-E-C-T, Linus, L-I-N-U-S, dot org, Project Linus dot org. Um, I'll see you guys all next Wednesday. Um, stay well. I hope you guys are not fighting with this. Uh, this is super fun. And I'll see you soon. Bye.